my name is Grant McAuliffe. I'm the General Manager of the Linus Advanced Materials Plant here in Kwantan, Malaysia. Linus's wastewater treatment plant is similar to many metallurgical plants in that it produces a synthetic gypsum via lime slurry utilisation. What is not similar to most metallurgical plants is that rather than pumping a tailing slurry to a tailings dam, Linus thickens and then pressure filters the residues. The use of pressure filters allows us to dry stack our residues, which is world's best practice for residue management. After filtration, the water recovered from WLP residue is 100% recycled. After neutralisation, thickening and filtration, the water from the NUF treatment is subjected to further checks and further processing. Water after filtration is sent to two large surge dams. Here it is checked against various chemical parameters and either recycled to neutralisation or sent to the next stage of treatment, which is biological oxidation. At the end of a batch, the water is checked against standard B discharge guidelines. If it meets those guidelines, it is sent to the clear well lagoons, or if not, it is retreated. At the clear wells, again, the water is checked, this time against standard B requirements. And if it passes standard B requirements, only then can it go out our final discharge point. My name is Azam Bin Awang. I'm the manager of OUR Resorted Treatment Plant. I'm joining Linus on May 2010. On March 2012, I'm becoming one of the Linus radiation workers. One of my functional job is to taking care of NUF and WLP residue. As a radiation worker, we are given the personal monitoring badge to detect any absorbed dose to our whole body. The maximum cumulative that I got is 0.74 millisievert per year, which lower than public allowable radiation exposure at 1 millisievert per year. For radiation worker, maximum allow allowable uh, radiation exposure is at 20 millisievert per year. I'm like the living proof that confirm Linus business is safe. Hello, my name is Mama Rizwan. I'm the environmental engineer in Linus Malaysia's Niamh Height. So the, basically this is our demonstration for RSF, Residual Storage Facility. And also we have added the permanent uh, disposal facility also. This is after we finish the WLP uh, store. So we add the temporary HDPE liner as a capping. And then the third one is designed for our PDF. So as we can see here, we got a HDPE liner, same as previous, and we add the geosynthetic clay liner with the high properties of sealing and then PET geodes textile as a physical chemicals and radiation barrier and then followed by the sand and bio barrier, soil and rock mulch. Hi, my name is Sili Zawani Binti Kairudin. Uh, I'm from Radiation Safety Department. Today I will demonstrate to you about the radiation monitoring uh, for our residue and for permanent disposal facilities. Okay, uh, This is our residue, water leaching purification, which is known as LBLP. And uh, this is the reading for one uh, for the LBLP. Okay, this is a proposed uh, permanent disposal facility for uh, for Linus operation. And I will take the reading. It is about the reading is about zero point zero seven microsievert per hour, which is equivalent to the background reading. And the background reading for uh, in Malaysia is about 0.2 microsievert per hour. So uh, why can I say is the reading for radiation uh, after we do the permanent disposal facility is safe.